all right now this uh is the episode two of how you service your machine in your indoor yourself without consulting anybody so on this video too we'll be talking about how you clean we'll be talking about how you will clean this side of your machine we'll talk about how you clean this side and uh please pay close attention to it i'll be discussing a couple of few things here that will give you a uh a great insight on how you maintain your machine pay pay close attention first of it let me talk about your oil if you can view this video carefully you notice that this oil is kind of brownish in nature it's not a white oil in normal industrial swimming machine oil is white kind of to color let me use colorless can oil, oil kind of a water color to it colorless and when you are seeing brown is an uh, it is a clear picture to you that this oil have been used over time and we have particles inside of it now i want you to notice something when you're having particles inside your oil is a very bad thing for your machine because uh it gets inside the machine and when it gets inside the machine you tend to have been some issues that ought not to come up and note there are some parts of your machine that are plastic like even this pump if you notice it has a plastic uh, material so when you're having as a like when you're having like needle entering it it can cause a very fatal damage on your machine so this is it your oil you can change it in every six months eight months or 12 months depending on your uh, frequent way of using it if you're kind of personalizing your machine 18 hours 20 hours in a day it's advisable you clean your oil every six months okay you are not always the type that i use it eight months i use it in a while once in a while make sure you change it after a year make sure you change it after a year so now let's be doing this real quick for you now you remember i told you that my brush is very important when i'm servicing my machine servicing machine is just me job about cleaning it and that's why you're seeing this uh video now when you get to this stage the first thing i want you to know is it is possible you have your tank here leaking when your tank is leaking definitely something is wrong right now we have a knot here it's possible you are not seeing it in the camera but just make sure why you are seeing that's why i advise all my customers all people that are viewing this page make sure you are with your machine while you are streaming this video if you are not with your machine you're just giving a, a full view please make sure you're with your machine now there is a knot here the knot here is where you have the knot here is where you have uh, your oil leaking if the knot is not properly tightened if the neck if the, the knot is properly tied in your oil should not leak and this is why i'm showing this to you in this video that when you want to bring this oil out it's not compulsory you come you bring out this uh tank of it you just lose this noise noise when you lose this knot the oil will come down at itself and you screw it back make sure you screw it back as you see when the oil is empty now after the oil is empty make sure your brush is working efficiently whereby you must clean out all the dirt like it's as compulsory as any other thing in your machine in fact cleaning this side is as compulsory to the extent that it's compulsory that you swing are you getting it now make sure you clean it there will be excess thread there will be dust there clean it out clean it out are you getting it clean all these sides out clean it out clean it's very important that you clean please please clean it out so, after cleaning all this side and you make sure your oil is neat the next side i want you to note is this side i want you to note is this side this side now in this side if you notice this machine is just dusty not oily i've seen customer by when you check this side of your machines you notice there is excess oil here it is a very bad signal that your machine is not in good condition so when you're having oil in this side of it it simply states that one knot is loosened in your machine and the knot is this this is the knot this is it so you screw it turn it to this side if you have an excess but if you are not having excess but you notice your thread cut too often you lose it a bit so that oil can supply to this short order are you seeing it so that your oil can supply to this short order but when you're having excess oil oil here it shows that this side is loose and you need to tighten it are you getting it so the next thing i'm doing now is i'm cleaning this side of it i'm cleaning this side of it ensure you do this cleaning just don't say aluku is a talkative i talk too much i admit to that but make sure 
you clean this side make sure you clean this side make sure you clean this side so when you are done cleaning this side and now let me explain one thing to you this side has a very important uh, aspect of a machine you must be cleaning it even if you are not doing your servicing sometimes you notice that while you are sewing your machine got stuck it stopped moving it's as a result of this race picking thread or particles from this side and it gets stuck inside it when it gets stuck inside it if you know if you can check my uh, video on how to unfreeze your immersion machine you will see it clearly there that i i lose this guy i lose it and i bring out the particles inside it that's as a result of your machine picking up ss trade yes so you must pay close attention to it that your mesh this side of your machine must be very clean are you getting it now before i move uh, too far if you can see clearly inside our oil tank we have a gauge here we have a gauge of low and high we have a gauge of low and high now it's very advisable you make sure your oil is not on low like every other type of uh, person will speak your oil must not be low it must be on this high side but not that you're not going because i've seen some customers don't let me call them uh overacting not ignorant your customers they are overacting why by you see their oil at this level or at this level no that's completely nonsense when your oil gets to this high that's it don't overfill your tank when you overfill your tank you have excess oil here and you are just wasting the oil it's not doing anything to the, for the machine so when your oil gets to the eye that's it now this pump here please and please ensure your pump is having a net a net is covering it are you seeing it ensure a net is covering it if the net is not covering it ah you are at risk of a very big risk because in case this net inside it pick a needle or it pick a stone uh, that some will call a, a stone here in Nigeria. I don't know what um, all these uh, pearls, pearls on your clothes, all these shiny beads on your clothes. When it falls here and this side picks it, it might get this pump damage. And when this pump the damage, that's all. Your machine, in fact, that is just a mirage to you, and you will surprise, you'll be surprised how your machine will keep the quality will keep going down because there will not be supply of oil to the parts of your machine. So ensure that. The oil that and uh, this place is secured in case you are not having access to net, get all this certain material to cover it, it will still pick the oil. You can lose this knot when you lose the knot, you get a space to put your certain material mm -hmm. or a net or a net, the one we use at our windows. You can put it there, then you screw it. When you screw it, it cover and it protects your machine from future damages. Are you getting it? So, when you Try and replace this one when you are done replacing it. Now, let me show you one side of it. The proof that this guy is working is not when you see oil in this pipe. Are you getting it? The proof that, the proof that this guy is working is not when you see oil on inside this pipe. When you see oil inside this part, it's possible. And even the part here, this power pipe, might not be pumping your oil to where it ought to. So when this pipe is not putting the oil where it's ought to, you'll be surprised that the moving parts underneath are working fine, but the moving parts in here are not doing fine. So if the moving parts and the other part are not doing fine, you still have your machine tools damaged. And when they are damaged, then you don't have a machine again. You are just losing the quality and even the, uh, how will I say it now, the durability the company now puts in your cloth, in your uh, uh, machine. So now, how do you check if this is working? You simply bring your machine down. You simply bring your machine down. When you bring your machine down, you get this opened. Oh, I don't have it open. Sometimes it's kind of hard. Sometimes it's kind of hard. You open this. Now, when you open this, on your machine, remember the first thing I told you before you start cleaning your machine is you remove your needle. It's very, very important. You remove your needle. It's as important as any other thing. Remove your needle. So, when you're your machine, immediately you peddle the machine, the oil should spring out from here. Are you getting it? Are you seeing it? You should be seeing it a bit of it. Are you seeing it? The oil is coming out. Do you see it? The oil is coming out of it. If your oil is not coming out, your machine is not fine. No. Please, your machine is not fine. I will, and I will make sure I discuss this in one of the next videos. Or sometimes your machine might not have the power, or maybe your oil is low. 
to pump it that way you are simply just have to put your hand in here not too deep please don't get yourself enjoyed just put it a bit like like you can see the tip of my hand now can you see it so just put it a bit of it this level and you pedal it when you pedal it you have oil on it on your finger are you seeing it you have oil on your finger so if you can have oil to that extent then your machine is your machine pump is working very very fine so if you notice in this uh, second video let me do a recap for you first of it i discussed with you on the duration of your machine oil i talked about the duration of your machine oil six months eight months and 12 months i talked about that i talked about you cleaning this side of it ensure you clean it make sure it is in fact if you are not servicing your machine make sure you clean it i've talked about that one i've talked about cleaning the edges of your oil here make sure the particles because you have all this dust and other things or cloth that drop inside it make sure you clean it when you are done cleaning that one ensure that your pump is having net when your pump is having net ensure that it is pumping so that's that about the oil part of the machine whereby you check the functions and, and you can even check my video how to put oil in your machine i think i spoke some cogent points today too that you can pick out you can check my videos on that now that is the end of the of this video and after this make sure you check for episode 3 whereby i'll be talking about some other details on how you go about your machine thank you